Uh, hello, my name is Johnson Liu. This is a Ruby on Rails project demonstrating the implementation of single sign-on mechanism using multiple identity providers or IDPs. In my case, I am using OneLogin and Okta as my IDPs. Uh, the advantage of single sign-on using SAML secure session markup language is that an organization can manage users dynamically across all their applications. For instance, the organization can create users and assign them access to multiple applications instead of having to recreate the same user using the same credentials or whatever um, uh, for each of their applications. It's also easier to remove users when they leave the organization. They just have to do it once on the IDP side instead of going through all the applications and delete the, the same user over and over again from each application. Um, so for my project, I uh, use the typical device germ to manage uh, the, um, the user's um, data on my application. And for the implementation of SAML sessions, I'm using the Ruby SAML germ. Um, the way I do it, since we are implementing this for multiple identity providers, um, the way I do it is uh, by using an IDP settings adapter. The IDP settings adapter will help me retrieve the SAML settings, all the IDP information based on the argument um, IDP entity ID. Um, so for instance, I, in the case of a, um, one login being the IDP, I can retrieve the settings for one login in the case of Okta, I can retrieve the settings for Okta. I can also retrieve um, their um, uh, homepage, uh, their IDP name. Okay, so um, for SAML sessions, I have three uh, parts. One is the new method inside the SAML sessions controller. That route is used for creating a SAML request and redirecting the user to the IDP login page. Next, I have the metadata route, which is a route for um, the service provider and the identity provider to share information between each other. And then next, I have the create method, uh, which is the route for uh, authenticating the user um, by passing a SAML response. Uh, so before each action, I will set the identity, um, uh, set the identity providers entity ID. Um, in some cases, IDP entity ID is sent in as a parameter. And in that case, I can just grab it from the params. Um, in case it is a SAML request, I will use uh, one login Ruby SAML germ um, to um, find the issuer and set it that, set that as um, my uh, IDP entity ID. In the case of a SAML response, for example, uh, when we are trying to authenticate a user, um, I will use Ruby SAML germ to uh, find the issuers and then uh, set that as the IDP entity ID. After I find the IDP entity ID, I will use the IDP settings ad adapter to find the relevant settings for that particular IDP. Uh, so for the new method, which is um, used for um, redirecting the user to the IDP login page, that's pretty straightforward. Just to generate a authentication request to the IDP using the correct SAML settings and then redirect there. Um, for the um, um, metadata route, uh, that is um, primarily used to share information between the service provider and the, the identity provider. After the IDP entity ID is passed in as a, a param, it will generate um, the metadata in XML format for that particular IDP. And then for the create method, um, once the SAML response is passed in as an argument, um, I will validate um, the SAML response uh, using the security settings um, inside my development.yaml inside the config settings folder. And then 
to retrieve the uh, um, ID information of the uh, user, I grab the name ID attribute of the SAML response. And then I find the user, if no user exists with that email, I will create a user with that email and then redirect the user to the home page. So let's see it in action. Let's turn on the server. Go to localhost 4435. I can sign in using uh, my euro uh, device sign in login uh, mechanism. I can also sign up as a new user. I can use one of the sign-in partners, uh, the IDPs. Let's say if I use one login and that particular user was already created on the IDP site, I can just uh, sign that user in. And uh, there you go. I'm on the home page of the app. The home page of the app displays Bitcoin prices in multiple currencies. And uh, exit to one login. Over here, this is um, the page showing all applications assigned to that user on the IDP. Right now, it only has one, but you can add more as an administrator. And then let me log out. Okay, let's try Okta. Sign in, and I'm signed in by authenticating through Okta. And I can exit to Okta, that's my home page for Okta. And I can log out. And then I am no longer signed in to my app. And that's all, thank you very much for watching.